All right, so this is part three of the Packet Tracer Skills Integration Challenge 6.5.1.2. So far, we've configured some basic settings on our routers and our switches. Um, we've configured some basic security. The next thing it's asking us to do is document interfaces with descriptions, including the Room 146 VLAN 1 interface. So to do that, we're going to go into our router here. Get yourself into global config mode. Once you're in global config mode, type interface gig 0 slash 0 to get into interface configuration mode for that port. And we're going to give it a brief description by using the description command. So we'll type description and we'll give it a brief description here. Connected to LAN switch 145. Hit enter. Once that's done, We'll go into the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 interface by typing interface gig 0 slash 1. Hit enter and do the same thing. Type description. Give it a brief description. Hit enter. Next we'll hop over to our switch real quick get yourself in the global config mode now we need to set a description for that VLAN 1 interface so we're going to type interface VLAN 1 and hit enter type the description command and give it a brief description and hit enter. Alright, once that's done, it's asking us to save your configurations. That's very important and it's very simple. All you have to do is type copy, run, start from the privileged executive prompt and hit enter. After that, your configuration will be saved to the startup configuration file which is stored in non-volatile memory that way once the switch gets powered down the configurations will be saved so once you boot it back up everything will be good to go so we'll pop over to our switch and do the same thing real quick give it the copy run start command hit enter and we're good to go the next thing it's wanting us to do is verify the connectivity between the devices. Now, I'm, I should be able to ping him, but we may have some trouble pinging across the network. That's because if you open your IP configuration, there's no default gateway set for any of our devices. So if you try to ping outside of your local area network, the router is not going to know what to do with it because there's no default gateway the packet won't even get to the router so what we need to do is type in the default gateway which is going to be the IP address of the interface that the device is connected to so these two here are connected to the gig 0 slash 0 interface via the switch here so we're going to give the default gateway the IP address of the gig 0 slash 0 interface which happens to be 172.14 whoops dot fourteen dot five dot one and then just exit out. We should be good there. Do the same thing here, one seventy two dot fourteen dot five dot one exit out. Go up to reception B. Now these guys are on a different network. They're actually directly connected to the gigabit 0 slash 1 interface so we need to give them the default gateway of the 172.14.10.1 
IP address. So we'll type that in 172.14.10.1. And we should be able to successfully ping across the network now. So let's give it a shot. Open up our command prompt. First, I'm going to try to ping reception A because he's in the same network as I am. So let's try giving him a ping. And his IP address is 172.14.10.1. And it's successful. So now let's try to ping across the network over to manager B. So we'll type ping and his IP address is 172.14.10.50. And that works. Now let's see if we can ping reception B. His IP address is 172.14.10.60. And that's failing. For some reason, we're unable to ping reception B. So what do we know? We're able to ping reception A in our own local network we're able to ping across the network to manager B but for some reason we can't ping reception B so let's switch over to simulation mode we're going to edit the filters and just select ICMP and ARP and we'll see where this is failing so we'll open up our command prompt and just hit up arrow hit enter we'll generate some packets here so we're able to get to the switch we get to the router we get to this switch and it fails when it it's failing right here it's failing here because that's not the IP address that we're trying to get to so the this node is automatically going to drop the packet but right here he's failing destination IP is not the broadcast address and does not match the port's IP address. So if we open up this packet it's saying that it doesn't match his IP address. So let's take a look here at his IP address. It's 172.14.5.60 Well that's incorrect because he's actually a he should be a part of the 10 network because he's directly connected to gigabit 0 slash 1 but for some reason his IP address was set to the 5 network so let's change that to a 10 and see if we can ping across now it looks like it's working now so it looks like whoever configured reception B's IP address messed up a little bit. So it looks like our network has been successfully uh, created. Our manager's happy with our work. We can successfully ping across the network. Everything's green, connected, and good to go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Um, if you found them helpful please like and subscribe to my page.